Let me out. Okay, do I have to go out? There was like a, that was like a hole right here, right? Oh, did I read the updated old geared? I think I did technically. Wait. A B C D F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Whoa. Yep. Okay. All right, where's the nearest fast travel point? Whoo, I mean, as soon as we leave, it's like, whoo! Oh, place marker. As soon as we leave the cursed area, the... Well, hey, actually, I think it is a little better. Let's see. I think we may have broken the curse. <sighs> yep, we did. Because before, well, the music's still creepy here, but the sun is shining and everything. It used to not. So we've at least changed that much. And it's snowing a little bit. Look at that. It says it in the little weather thingamajiggy too up in the top right that there's some snow in the middle of spring. Yo! You guys uh, gonna operate out here now, I guess? You smile fair as spring as to water me draws you Yeet's the mirror man song! Your wishes he grants as he swears to adore you. Gold, silver, jewels, he lays riches before you. Jews need be repaid and he will come for you. All to reclaim, no smile to console you. He'll snare you in bonds, eyes glow in a fire To gore and torment you till the stars expire Hmm... The fate awaiting old gear is not a pleasant one. I don't think he cares at this point though, like I feel like he, he shouldn't if his heart is made of stone, you know? Meow. Yeah, we'll go here. Whew! Whew! This is intense! I feel like we're getting close to the end, but I feel like Odim... I'd rather just let Odim go his own way, because whatever... I mean, you gotta feel... You feel bad for for Ogier, you really do. Um, he, he made a deal with a demon, with a devil, with a genie, that he did not. Did not I'm really so think about the consequences of his actions when he did it. And he did it for a good reason, right? To, like, get back his family's honor and to get back his wife from some poor prince, you know, or whatever, and bring her back to him because he loved her. But... Oh, you've got a name. Oh, you're the... You're one of the... I think, yeah. Oh, I could talk Two to her about her quest. And be quick about it. Oh! Please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draught. Geralt, over here. Oh, ho, 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 hi! Oh, wait, you looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. More treats. Yeah. Don't get in his way. Show off. Of course <laughs> I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to using ginger. <laughs> You were listening. Indeed, <laughs> occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. 
Who are you really? Gauntaro Dim, also known. Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. I am so intrigued by In this. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grab their wishes. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the off desire unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? He's a genie! A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. Interesting. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. <laughs> this is so cool! You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Yeah. Ooh. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So I taught myself how best. We probably exist in a time small plane outside Geralt, of. There are four dimensions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? <laughs> Come now. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cool and so terrifying. And like, I knew he wasn't going to tell me what he actually is. Like, he can't. Like, 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 whoa. Like, whoa, you know? Like, whoa. He's just something so obviously beyond. He's only like manifesting as like a human to like make it easier to pass. You know, like, he's, he's something so far beyond what we can even comprehend right now. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand. I haven't given him the rose even... yet. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Ilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning. He didn't say it. He didn't actually show me this a contract to read. To contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. <gasps> There a fly in my suit. I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? Old Witcher's trick. I concentrate real, real hard, and I can control time and space. You tossed this fly in my suit? No. Good. Now listen carefully. Good question. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. What's the commotion? Lovani's temple, got it? Aye, got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic, she were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Right now? Right now? Good Five Did you see? Three pillars. Like literally Good food. Dead. Good they food. were there, alive, yeah. a moment Good ago. Food. He soaked in blood! Uh, no one this my ass. Don't mind me. Okay, optional talk to Shani at her home. 
Oh boy, oh boy, I can't believe he did that. Has that, has that guy got a habit of interrupting you? Because broski, that seems a bit excessive. Oh wait, she's, oh okay, she's right close. Shawnee, you can't come with me. This guy, wow, no, wow. This, this guy is just wow. But she's gonna be like, I ain't good with you and help you. I'll help you. Cause I'm a good, I'm a good little helper friend. Cause I'm a lady in a video game, that's what I do. I'm not bitter. Oh, hi, oh, oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh, Geralt, good thing you're Are you here. packing? Where are you going? What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to either? I she wants to get I away from me. Found out this morning. I'm too much for her. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down. Just say no. Uh, perhaps I could have, but I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded—it's my calling. No place I'm needed well, more than at the front. That's good. No, do you think, girl? I understand. She's living her dream. Her She's doing what she wants Someday, to do and not I'm being sure. caught up in the stupid I need to get married because I'm getting older. No, she's going through with her dream and not getting stuck on that. So, learn anything about Old Geard? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows me. Shh, doggy. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the academy. An assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock claims all the Everick met with the professor. Pramathine Shakeslock. Cool name. Apparently, Allgeard asked the professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Why? You think he's a mage? Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest. Oh my gosh, I my can't dog. Say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. Oh, so they protect the assistant, him. On the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be Black surprised magic. to see him using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Nah. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. No Besides, that. we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Oh my gosh, my dog! Shut up! So why are we finding out about Olgeard now? Like, this seems kind of late in the game to find out about Olgeard. We're like, we want to make you a bit more sympathetic towards him again after you saw so how, how he abused his wife. These days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Oh. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. I won't. You'll be fine. She's like, gotta take like one and a half steps for every step I take. This is just a sign of a country just doing really well when they're burning books and putting scholars out of business and blah de blah de blah. I hate this place so much. 
Halt! Oh my gosh! The order of King Radovid. No one's allowed inside the Guess academy. what? I killed King Radovid. It's fine. No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Don't mind me in the mm. back. <laughs> All right. Well, alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? We're just going to we're just gonna say that right in front else. of the guards? Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in. Where's the river at? River's over here. Um, is this still the way I should go? Back across the bridge? Really? Over all the way over there? Jeez. Oh, wait. Wait. I'm heading backwards across the bridge. Oh, so if I just kind of hop out here and swim around, is that what I'm doing? I'm trying to kind of see where the dots are going to try to take me. Um, oh, down to the waterfront. Okie dokie. Oh, hey, it's a boat. Nope, just jump in the boat. There, jump in the boat. Wow, okay, we're having a hard time with this boat. Come on. Let me control the boat. God, we walk so slow on boats. Go! Just taking a nice old wander in a boat. Oh. Seriously? Seriously, there's drowned dead in the town? Like, what in town nation? Um... Oh, here, 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 here. I'll put the necrophage potion on. Or oil. Hybrid, curse, hangman, insectoid, dragon, necrophage. Yeah, I like the one with the damage I do. No, get the one that's almost dead. Almost dead. Nope. Nope. Yeah, you're gonna fart. Yay, I stunned him for a second. Geralt. Some time later. Psst. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. I hate my dog sometimes. Where'd you get the rope? Long story, but we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. I can. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing, really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, so there's really no. Oh, hang on. Uh. Hold on. I 
am not a subtle person. I knew it! Stunning him and then going from behind. There was no way I was gonna not win that. I don't mind killing witch hunters. Lock tight. Need another way in. You leave a window open, maybe. Did I just die? What? <laughs> I jumped off that, but oh, you know what I did? I pressed the wrong button. That's what I did. But seriously, Carol, jumping from that high is gonna kill you. I don't believe it for one second, my boy. One second. That was one story. A human being can land on their head from one story and possibly survive. Like. Maybe not, but you know, maybe not land on her head. But you can land on your side and live. You can land on your legs and live. You break something. But, and if you're ready for it, like, you, you, if you're, you know, limber and fit, like, you'll be able to live, live for sure and maybe just get a bruise or two. Geralt's a freaking witcher. He should be able to fall down two stories and land on his feet like a cat. Let's get the crossbow guy. Oops, I thought I missed you. I got him. Wow, I really just. Okay, hang on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Dang it. Ooh, I got both of them. You know it, buddy. Don't let him drive you back. Okay, well, Lock tight. poke it. Need yep, another okay. way in. You leave a window open, yep. maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Here, let's. Maybe not go into this completely. Look at how much longer I can I still have on my concoctions though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Careful, Gerald, don't fall. Oh, okay, it's the second story. Still. <gasps> Freak! That was an accident! No! I hate myself so much! I hate myself! That was an accident! I wasn't trying to go that far! The stupid joystick got stuck. Oh. <laughs> okay, I actually did that one much faster than any of the other times. I got three of them in like one shot. Like, like I one shotted three of them. Good golly. Girl, you look stunning as always with your toxicity level to dangerous levels. There's an, an achievement for being able to drink um, six at once, I think. And at any given time, I can only have four. Three concoctions. Or I guess, no, okay, I can only have three concoctions at any given time. Because I can drink three concoctions and then have a little bit of room for health stuff. What? Oh, God, I was gonna be so mad. Okay, uh. Oh, yeah, that was a good idea. You couldn't just kick it down, Geralt! You couldn't just kick the door down, you had to try to break down the whole entire house! Freaking idiot! The whole house is gonna cave down on us. Poor guy. And 
junction of the spears. Of course, of course. Uh oh. <gasps> the Shattered mirrors. Mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered He's by a sound, maybe. Someone look at it and scream. What? You can't scream that loud. That's part of the door that I broke. What's this? Is that. Oh, okay. Lesser key. Tomes about demons, dusty as they come. The essence of evil is to cause suffering. There may exist varieties of suffering, from common corporeal pain through the rarefied torment of the psyche to deep wounds dealt to the soul. Whence then does evil arise? Does it appear on its own, or does it only spread when conditions are ripe? And finally, the most important question how can evil be defeated? Interesting, interesting, already interesting, very philosophical. Most evil has always exist most believe evil has always existed, for none remember a time when it did not. Yet is that sufficient proof? I dare to doubt it, for I am a scholar, and the essence of scholarship is to question all hypotheses until they have been rigorously proven. The appearance of evil is close to die to the existence of good. It's opposite in antith antith antithesis antithesis antithesis. Good without evil is dimensionless and therefore imperceptible. Evil, then, is an integral part of our lives. Evil wears many faces and appears in many different forms. One of them wears the skin of flesh. This evil incarnated as a man, as man travels the world, souring death and suffering. Such evil is devious and difficult to discern. We usually only note its presence when it's already too late. In my scholarly wanderings through the myths and legends of a great many cultures, I've come across descriptions of a certain individual which all display striking similarity. I do not mean in terms of this individual's outer appearance or name, but of his modus operandi. This evil works through trickery, tempting at first with the offer of something seemingly good. The price one must pay for this object of temptation, however is enormous and non-refundable, and the promised good often contains horrifying hooks and treacherous traps. Beware, then, of any who promise the impossible, for such can only be delivered through the machinations of evil. I don't know if it's necessarily evil. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think... I don't know if Gontor Odim is evil so much as he... Is you? Leave the bed pun in the usual spot. I'm so much as he operates today. on a different... Professor Shakespeare. Blazes. How do you get in? Get out! I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please. You know. Gaunter old dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. Hmm. A mutant. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Came here because I need information. We need to. Think you we need to leave. Has it? Mm, a witcher. Then it follows our need and fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. There you go. What See, he's a smart, smart dude. You. I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at so my doorstep. So you became blind after day, that. Offering a Look at all the markings on the wall. Only to find out who Gaunter Odim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I poured over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed It'd be an awesome work. pastime, an I awesome went so job. I so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I 
hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gontor Odim, at times Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind, yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Know anything else about the man? Can we talk outside? Man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. Oh boy, that's a bad drew idea. the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying... No, you should probably, you should probably peace out of that it. circle. If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. I, why did you trust him? You said he's evil incarnate. Why did you trust him? Old Geard signed one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. Guess why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know his fortune soured? He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master. I love this guy's Mirror. walking around. The rest follows naturally. All geared and all dim. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. Packed. Signed in blood, and a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Oldim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Ivan. He sacrificed his brother! Olgierd tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It's worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. So I like this guy. He's probably going to die, though. No, no, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgierd merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Why was Olgierd out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? His heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact Trixie, Trixie! Die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odin at his own game. Meaning? Odin wields contracts, word traps, 
duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Sole thing he truly desires, human souls. Or elven, or dwarven. Odin left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Hmm. Wonder if I would bear the mark for the rest of the game. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. <laughs> Yep, he walked outside the circle. All right, then. Sorry, man. My notes and observations, Professor Shakeslock. The circle Odim created terrifies me. I cannot see it, but I know it is here. I know no name for the sense with which I perceive it. When I near its bounds, strange shivers shoot down my spine. This is not pain, but something that stands my hair on edge like a hedgehog's quivers. A month has passed, and still I, let, I stay within the runic circle. Nightmares prey on me more and more. I've come to fear sleep. I know not how long I can withstand this. I dreamt I had a daughter. This was strange, for I've never had children. Yet one came to me in my sleep. She was no older than ten. She called me daddy and loved me deeply. I could see it in her eyes. The strangest part of all was that I also burned for her with a great paternal love. Can one possibly dream of someone who does not exist? Can one love such a one? I no longer fear sleep. Perhaps Odim has decided to give me peace. I have no desire to change his mind. Uh-uh, this is bad. My dreams of Amelia give me great joy. My daughter is a good and clever girl. I believe she will grow into a wonderful woman. A shame, a shame she exists only in my dreams. Not only do I no longer fear sleep, but now I cannot wait for the moment in which it comes. What a fantastic transformation. If nothing changes, I shall soon try to leave the circle. I know now why I dreamt for weeks of the child I never had. It was his doing. This night my daughter died. She caught a strange illness which pocketed her whole body with hideous oozing sores. She cried, begging me to help. I could do nothing. She died in my arms. I awoke soaked with sweat. I remained her wreck. My mind shattered. Three months have passed since Amelia's death. My heart still bleeds and horrifying visions plague my every moment. I'm a blind man who wishes he saw nothing. For utter blindness would be a relief compared to these tormenting visions. I cannot persevere much longer. I have become a deeply unhappy man. I have now lived within a magic circle for a year. Thoughts of suicide haunt my mind ever more often. It would be so simple. I need but step outside the runes. Well, I guess at least he died being able to help. Or, you know, he was finally able to breathe a bit more freely. And then he died. Freed from this mortal prison. Still sucks. Okay, oh, oh dim. I don't really get it. I don't. I don't get what you're. I don't know if he's a genie. I don't know if you could call him a genie. Do genies feast on mortal souls? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, maybe. Um. How do I leave? Oh, where's the nearest? Oh, I guess if I'm in a boat, I can fast travel to a boat. Right. Well, maybe I should just go to the western gate really quick. 